loves and welcome back to my channel. If you are watching this video, then you're probably suffering from mask acne or you know someone that would benefit from watching this video. The purpose of this video is to share with you guys my personal skin journey with mask acne. I would share the approach that I did and what are the products that work really well for me. And since wearing masks is our new norm and seems like it's going to stay here for quite a long time than what we thought, so I thought making this video will be helpful for a lot of people. I've been thinking of doing this video for quite a long time now, but I thought I would really focus on doing the approach that I've been practicing for a few months and the products that I've been using and see if it actually works for me and then I would make a video for you. And once it is personally proven and tested, then I think that's a time to share it with you guys. Acne breakout, whether it's the regular ones or mask acne, could be very depressing. It is very hard both physically and emotionally and I personally experienced that. So if you guys want to know my skin journey and how I treat my mask acne and made my skin from this to this, then keep on watching. So for the first couple months that I've been wearing masks consistently at work, I noticed how my skin flared up with acne breakout, specifically where my mask sit. So that is what we call mask knee or acne from wearing mask. It could be bumps, it could be more cystic, or an irritation that you get around the area where you put your mask. For myself, I get cystic acne. From there, I started to do my own research, the causes and how to prevent it, and where can I start? And that is what I'm going to share with you guys. All the information that I got, what helped me, what are the do's and don'ts, and how to treat it, and how you can prevent having mask. So let's start with the causes. So because we are wearing mask, um, it kind of traps the moisture around that area, which is the perfect ground for growing bacteria, building up oil and dirt. And if you are wearing makeup as well, it really clog your pores and that's where the breakout starts. And if you have oily or acne prone skin like myself, then you are really prone to getting mask knee as well. So let's start by prevention. So like they say, prevention is better than cure. So if you haven't experienced mask knee, then I'm so happy for you. And let me tell you what you can do to make sure that you won't get mask knee. First is to learn how to properly use your PPE or your personal protective equipment like mask or gloves. Make sure you know how to practice good hygiene and sanitation. Always wash your hands or sanitize before touching your mask before you put it on and after you put it on. I know this sounds like common sense, but a lot of times we overlook those little things. Second is to use disposable mask instead of reusable. But I know it's also hard to get disposable right now because of shortage. So if you are using reusable mask, make sure that you have plenty of them and if possible, 100% cotton because they are more breathable and less chance that the bacteria will live in there. And make sure you wash it every day. So for myself, I have like literally like a bunch of um, reusable face masks that I change up every day and wash them with fragrance-free or good for sensitive skin detergent if possible. That would help a lot making sure that you won't get any irritation or sensitivities on the area where you're going to put your mask. Okay, let's move on with three. First things first, try not to wear makeup wearing makeup will make it even worse because if you are wearing makeup where your mask sits it will just trap it in there it will become moist and the bacteria will build up and it will even clog your pores and even irritate your existing acne if you really want to wear makeup just wear it on your eye area i don't wear foundation or anything on my face especially on this area second is do not suddenly change your whole skincare routine i know it is really hard once you get that flare out breakout but i'm telling you i did the same mistake and it made my skin even worse so the do's is try to go back to the basics which means cleansing uh, moisturizing and protecting your skin in the morning by using sunscreen and at night you do the treatment so those four things are the one that really help my skin second is do not use your acne treatment or spot treatment in the morning rather use it at night and in the morning make sure that you keep your skin well moisturized and hydrated you have to work on balancing your skin rather than using all of this 
drying components on your skincare and just makes your skin really really dry which confuses your skin to create more oil so then you become more oily and become more prone to breakout so make sure that you do your treatment and save it for your nighttime routine because it could be too harsh and overwhelming for your skin to have everything applied on your skin during daytime so focus on strengthening your moisture barrier in the morning and at night is when you treat your active breakouts so what are the best Best skincare products that you would want to use if you are suffering from masking so products that have salicylic acid benzoyl peroxide retinol and sulfur so those are the ingredients that you wanted to look in your skincare products but like I said you have to balance your skin if you are using one ingredient in one of your skincare products make sure like your cleanser or your toner are more hydrating so now I will show you guys the main products that really help my skin Go through this mask knee journey for my treatment in the morning i use this juice beauty blemish clearing serum so this is organic and it is pretty good to use in the morning because it is lightweight so it really dries nicely on your skin at night i use this ufo from sunday riley this is one of my favorites and i've seen a really really great improvement in my skin since i started using it when i first started using this i use it in the morning and at night and then after i seen that that my skin is calming down and i'm having less breakout i started using this only at night so ufo is the ultra clarifying face oil it has 1.5 percent salicylic acid so it really helps treating your acne and at the same time it is dry oil i know for oily skin people you might think that oil is a no-no but no this is actually a dry oil so it actually absorbs quickly onto your skin and it doesn't feel greasy at all for spot treatment i highly recommend either the kate somerville this is the eradicate or this one from mario badesco this is their drying lotion so these two are pretty similar i would say um, this is a little bit cheaper but i just noticed that the sediment you have you will get more from the kate somerville so you have two options but i feel like they work pretty similar so they are spot treatments so you just use q-tips and apply it where you have an active breakout and the next one is a very new product that i've just recently discovered and i know a lot of people are not familiar with this um this one is from silver ray this is called silver ray 2 um, it is a Korean product. It's actually an optimizer or a mist. So what you do is you just add water, fill it up with water, and there's 50 ml there. So it's basically a lifetime supply of this mist. And what I like about this one is it works as a hydrating mist, and it is also antibacterial. So it is a silver foam iron spray so over here is the silver foam and on top is the electric tourmaline ball so it's a pretty cool advanced product coming from korea so i highly recommend this one this one really helped my skin really hydrating and another cool thing that you can do with this is to spray your mask so you spray about like 10 um, spritz on each side and let it sit for about an hour before you use it and it will keep the bacteria away for about 18 hours and then I also spray it before and after I wear my face mask to make sure that it kills all the bacteria sitting on my skin. So yes, I highly recommend for you guys to check this out. For moisturizer, if you are oily skin or you have acne prone skin like myself, you want to make sure that you use something that is oil free or gel or water based moisturizer. My recent favorite is this one from Belief. This is their Aqua Balm. And it's very lightweight. I use it underneath my mask and it helps my skin keep hydrated all day. But it doesn't feel oily or greasy at all. And then last but not the least is a sunscreen. So this one is from Clarence. It has UV50 and it is the sunscreen multi-protection tint. It's actually a tinted sunscreen. That's why I like this one because it does work two way. Like I said, I don't wear any makeup or foundation on my skin or on my face. So this one works to really even out my skin, any redness so at the same time it protects my skin from the sun and it's also oil free so basically with your skin your products you wanted to find something that's oil free or non-comedogenic or lightweight or anything that says clarifying or clearing formula or the ones that are gel or water based also fragrance free if possible that's really everything guys um those are the ones that really help my skin turn from this to this but please take note that our skin are different, but I'm hoping this would work and help your skin as well. 
and I know it is hard but also please try to be patient your skin won't transform overnight usually changing up your skincare routine will take at least few months to get the result um, as long as you're getting improvement every day even if it is a slow and steady it's still progress also, if you've tried all this prevention and treatment tips that I mentioned in this video and there's still nothing that's happening, then I would highly recommend to see a dermatologist or also look into your diet because that's a big thing as well that contribute to any breakouts. Also, like stress and change in lifestyle could be a big factor too. So I hope you guys like this video and find it helpful. If you guys want me to do a mask knee skincare routine for morning and nighttime routine, let me know and I would love to share to you guys what are my skincare routine for oily or acne prone skin especially people who are suffering with maskne. Also if you guys are wondering about my cute tie-dye sweater this is from a local brand called to die for i'm gonna put it here and you can check out their instagram and you can show them some support and love thank you dana of to die for for sending me this cute and very comfy sweater i'm hoping that these do's and don'ts and all the tips and product recommendations that i share to you guys how to prevent and treat your mask knee would actually work wonders for you as well same as how it did for me again thank you for watching and i hope to see you guys next week take care and keep safe